hello guys my name is Sait I'm from this time today I'm going to show how to make improve your computer experience it is inevitable that all computers will experience slower speed at some point as the software becomes more demanding the way in which your person PC reacts to those changes can have a big impact on its performance. The operating system you have to and whether you have to choose and to upgrade to Windows 10 can also make a big difference. Today, here's the seven ways to can improve your computer speeds and its overall performances. Task one. Enable the setting auto free up spaces to get rid of temporary files, meaning that Changing from off to on. Let's let's see the steps. Okay, open. Click setting. System. Scroll down storage. Okay, here uh, change from off to on then automatically our computers will be free up the spaces task two disable unnecessary windows startup applications while you are while your window operating system is starting up some applications will be auto start so that those applications are unnecessary while startup so that you have to disable those unnecessary startup applications except antivirus okay setting again setting apps startup here are the lists of applications which are automatically started so that unnecessary applications must be uh, disabled auto auto start look uh, here those applications are uh, will start up while your operating system start so that you have to disable it except necessary applications here for example this antivirus is on Okay, let me see uh, scanning the applications which are on on startup. Okay, let us let us going to next task three: clean up window recycle. While you are deleting the files, not directly or permanently removed, they are going to task uh, recycle bin so that you have to clear from recycle bin. So that if you delete the files by pressing shift plus delete automatically cannot going to recycle bin. Rather it will delete permanently so that the recycle bin must be cleared. Explain why it is important to input this recycle bin. Here is my recycle bin, uh, or this is already MPT. Uh, my recycle bin already MPT. But if large amount of data is available on recycle bin, it must be cleared. Okay, guys. 
right click uh, open right click property and custom sizes limited maximum sizes while uh, full uh, 50,000 megabytes automatically our computers will be removed in recycle bin files task for clean CD drive using window utility because your operating system available on C drives C drives C disks so that you have to clean always using window utility let's see click this PC on C right click property disk cleanup ok disk cleanup tick checkboxes then delete delete then we wait after uh, the temporary files will be permanently deleted so that we are clearing clearing up the C drives so it is enable our computers to make high performance speeds Okay, it is finished. Task 5 adjust window power plan into high performance. The window default power plan is uh, recommended and uh, balanced so that you have to convert it from high uh, balance, uh, balance from high performance power plan. So that let's see the steps. Okay open power plan power option okay N now let me uh, change from balance it into high performance here is there is a two options here so that you have to change it to high performance in order to make your computer high ample of the speed is task 6 adjust windows user account control setting okay user account control setting okay Now uh, change to upper to bottom side. This is scroll bar to down. Scroll bar to down. Okay. This is make our computers to make high performance. Task seven: Use disk cleanup utility to avoid temporary files. In this case, by using cleanup utilities, you can remove or get rid of your temporary files. Let's start. Disk cleanup. Okay. Select C drive or another drive. Okay. Tick. System clean up. Wait until finished. Now it is removing the temporary files so that we have to patience with finishing these steps. 
Every computer has a number of files. Programs on its hard drive that haven't been used in a while is unnecessary. This can have always a lot of files, which applications and files can be deleted from a computer. Bring up drive spaces for programs you will use. Allow you to find which application is. It is incredibly easy to access disk cleanups from the startup and consta search boxes you'll send to the program. A quick scan will show you temporary files. In install application is a web page that you have to use no longer you need. From here it will automatically delete them and clear up some spaces. Disk cleanup is effective depends on how much RAM you have to own the space, which can also cause your computer to run slower than it normally would. It is in, in this case it may be a good idea to install more RAM on your devices. You should also schedule disk defragmentation on semi-regular basis. You can be aware of how much hard drive spaces you have. Windows has optimized drive tools which you can access from startup buttons or your Cartana search box. There are also a number of one of third party programs that can be helpful in clearing out files that you don't use anymore. Fragmentation is a process of consolidating fragmented files on user hard drives. Files become fragmented when the data is written to disks, and there is not enough contiguous space to hold the complete files. Storage algorithms break the data apart, apart so that it will be fit into available spaces. The process of defragmentation moves the data block on the hard drive around the to bring all parts of a file together. Fragmentation reduces the file system fragmentation, increasing the efficiency of data retrieval and thereby improving the overall performance of computers. At the same time, it cleans the storage and provides additional storage capacity. The fragmentation is opposite of fragmentation, which is inefficient use of computer storage. Fragmentation occurs gradually as users change save delete files. The saved modification for files are usually stored at hard drives, locations that is different from that of original files. Supplementary modifications are stored to even more locations. Gradually, both of and the hard drive become fragmented, and the computer becomes very slow as it needs to search in various spaces to open the file. Windows-based computer requires practical fragmentation. Unix and Linux-based computers do not become of different design for storing data. Even if the same hard drive is used, Microsoft Windows provides proprietary fragment tools within its operating system. Third-party versions also are available. Back in the process, such as reading and writing storage media are always invisible to users who are unable to continuously defragment the storage devices, becomes the impact on this has on the system readiness. The fragmentation tools are well introduced to eliminate this issue and are pre-installed in different versions of Windows operating system. Those built-in fragmenters rearrange the hard drive data and reignite the fragment files, which helps the computer to run more efficiently. Hard drive uses automatic scheduler for periodic and fragmentation. In addition, users may use tools for storage. For today's enough. Until next video, we meet. Okay, bye-bye.